Morning, Malaysian Matthew. Good morning, how are we? Very good. <laughs> We're at the Elf Club in Malaysia, everybody. Good morning. Morning, y'all, as someone says. The pins are out, and rightly so. Lots would say, Matthew, rightly so. It's gonna be hot, isn't it? I'm looking forward to today. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous out there. Today's daily vlog, we're gonna talk about something we talked about in the um, serious video that we did that people were getting kind of the wrong idea of about you being aggressive or not aggressive. Well, we're in tournament style. Remember we talked about yeah, in yeah, the yeah. serious vlog about you because you go very yeah. negative very quickly. I can do, definitely, yeah. Yeah, where we were talking about maybe staying more positive. Lots of people getting the wrong end of the stick there because I think sometimes people just can't imagine themselves out of themselves yes does that make sense as in well, we'll explain as we go on because the advice I would give to you regardless if you take it or not would be very different to the advice that I give to my dad yeah who's got 11 or 13 shots depending on how he fluctuates and is a nervous little golf sausage <laughs> and he's a golf sausage <laughs> and playing in monthly medals you know playing yeah, because Dan, we're talking about Dan playing like, you know, trying to qualify for an Open and not like playing in how long. That's why I think people can't think out, but we'll talk about it as we go on. But earlier as well. Definitely Gone, a belly burn. Yeah, that dried out. Mm. Get a nice breeze coming through and it dries it out. What's that? Boob belly, melt. Belly button melt. You got boob melt. Boob melt. Mm, see that? It's got that back speckle pattern as well. It's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, how dare you sweat? <laughs> Um, let's talk about negativity. Can we get you nice and close? Because I'm not that wide, ladies and gents. Not too close. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit <laughs> sweaty. <laughs> um, thoughts then on when to attack and when to defend. Matthew, let's start with you. Um, with, so, with your own game. Yeah. When uh, when uh, would you choose to attack and defend? Uh, not situate, I mean as a general whole, like relative to score to the event. I don't mean like uh, I'm going fives. over a lake here and should I go for it or not? Par five, so sorts of things. I would always attack nowadays. With if you were four under, better. if you were four over, would you still um, play it? The yeah, same? I like when I was an amateur as well. I was always really aggressive. Like dad used to caddy for me. He's like, "Why have you done?" <laughs> yeah, <and panic laughs> well, a bit. I just because I go for everything, and then one day it would happen, and then the other day it's like an NR, but. Point one, isn't it? When you're an amateur, it doesn't matter. I but you, think, but you wouldn't uh, panic, though, would you? Then, no. if you're being aggressive, you're yeah. going to be—you're not going to be in a panic mode. And I'm playing well, so why would I not just go for everything yeah. if I'm four under? So then, a flip side to this, just as we talk this through, which I think is quite interesting, is when will Matt panic? He's the reverse to you, if you think it through. Matt would panic more, I think, if he was four under with four to go. Because Matt, yeah. whenever we play, he only sees things being frittering away. Yeah. Where I would say you're good more at being in a crap situation and thinking I can flip it back. Yeah. He's the opposite. Matt is rubbish in my history of playing with him. When he's ahead, it makes him more nervous. Yeah. Where you the other day in that video said, Oh, I'm too over now after two, I'm gonna go all defensive now. Yeah, I, yeah. That's how I that's how I've competed though, I think, for the last certainly the last ten years. Yeah. Gone definitely into like a, a I go into a negative bubble. However, when if I'm four under with four to play I'm still press, like, I'm not press pressing, but I'm... You want to go five? I want to go to five. I want to go to five. But if I'm not playing well, and I'm, I'm struggling off to get going, then I will, I will back away. If that makes sense, back away. I will not go aggressive. I will just play within myself, within my game. Hit fairways, hit greens, get out of there. So my point about that idea then for you, which we talked about on that day, is that surely that makes you worse. So I thought about it since we had that chat and <clears throat> I suppose I, I think about, so I've just been away on a tournament yeah. okay, and it's a three day event and, and I'm, not play, I'm not playing well, I wasn't playing well, but I knew that if I could just get it round the golf course that we were playing uh, down in Spain that I could, I could still finish inside the top three mm. and I would rather walk away with a top three finish and earn some money back from the event not that it was a big earning event but to earn something back to then move forward with it so my question to that then is that you call it a tournament and you call it an event 
yeah, to me, in my world, that's still a tournament and still an event for How me. How many pros were in that tournament? Ten. <laughs> but it's still an event. And I think the difficulty we've got in the pro ranks, as, as they say, in the, the local stuff that I play in, um, is we're losing numbers. We're losing numbers. So, so numbers you've resigned yourself to the standard you are? Oh, I'm never gonna. I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to go now and go to tour school and try and compete no. at a level that is outside of my comfort zone and, and arena. So, when you were trying to do that, would you play <coughs> never the same did. way? Never did go. That you way. tried to get in the open. Oh, yeah, as an amateur, I tried to play it in the open. And did you go negative when you went two over after? Like, I don't no. know if you're getting my point. I no, don't. Did you get in my point? You or not? need what do you to think? go aggressive if you're two over in the open qualifier. I know. Yeah, it's the well, complete opposite. It's that's, the complete you opposite. Need to get in the that's top a different. Five. That's it's a the different worst event. advice ever. But that's a, that was that was a. Um, so you're trying to go to tour you, school. So you're going to go negative when you're two over after two. No, no, because you can't. So if you then you make it on tour. Yeah. You're going to go negative when you're two over after two because you know that two under makes the cut. Your, no, your, I'm not do you see I'm not. how what I'm saying? Your comments reflect the reason why the audience supported your ideas of your comments is because you're playing like an amateur wants to play, I think. What do you reckon, Ray? Do you understand what we're saying? So we were doing a challenge, nine hole, uh, six hole challenge the other day. Mm -hmm. Serious golf, we called it. And Dan went two over after two. And then he went all negative. He said, I'm going to go all defensive now and negative. Yep. Bear in mind, this is a six hole challenge. But we've seen it and we talked about it because one of the things that you constantly say to me in these videos is that since you've played in the videos, it's made you learn how to relax more. But, <clears throat> interesting thing, when I'm out here, like last week, it, the, the, my stress levels are at a completely different yeah. point. You know, so here with you guys, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Like, I have no, there's no, for me personally, there's no concern if I lose a golf ball or anything. Yeah, but it's nice, playing, isn't it? It's lovely. It's fantastic. But when I play in tournament style, I go into this little world. So my question to you, because I want to come back to Ray then, mm. is that you obviously score, don't answer this, we'll get to the end, and I want you to just concentrate on what I'm saying, right? You obviously score loads worse when you play with us and loads better in your pro events. We'll come back to that. Think about what I've said there. Ray, what do you think about Dan saying that he goes negative around the events he plays in? Because I would relate it more to handicap golfers. Yeah. Um, well, you I'd... personally, do you protect handicap? Or like when no. you're, you just go out and play, don't you yeah. see what comes out of the hat? I'll, so like in certain situations, if I'm on a par five and I can reach, I often w won't go for it. In a tournament, in, do it here as well, don't yeah, I? You do, I yeah. lay up quite often. You do because you don't want to get that wedge distance. Yeah, and also because then there's the potential for a longer club to be like, yeah. And then I'm up, not upsetting, but I obviously want to chip in with my partner and yeah, have yeah, the yeah. You decent wanna, hole. Yeah. So you want to compete in the thing you're playing. In. Yeah, um, but I would never play in a medal and protect my handicap or anything like that. I would, if there was a yeah, I'll just go out and have fun. Yeah. I treat medals like every other round of golf. Yeah. But like, there's no distinguishment for me now. Yeah. And that's probably because I do this a lot as well. Yeah, it changes. The way we play changes your ideas. It changed mine over years. The, I don't take practice swings when I get within a certain uh, space of the hole. Remember, I, like, it, we let the joke about should I tap it in? Because it made no difference to my percentages. It made it, no difference. So why waste the time? It changed yeah. how much I enjoyed golf. So now, I, like you say, I go out and play and just have fun yeah i used to get really pissed off like really angry with yeah, things yeah 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 because and that was my perception of the muppets tour is the best tour we're <laughs> gonna hit oh we'll come back to my point that i've just made about you my point i've made about you i don't know if it's clear what i'm getting at with that because i think it's really quite a clever yeah, question I, yeah. and it, it 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 just it just sums up yeah how wrong he gets logic. it and how his logic is built around Feeling. cliche yeah it's cliche yeah it's cliche we'll come back I'm intrigued. It's a nice lunch, guys, wasn't it? Why am I eating? Well, you still eating what? Haribo? I've eaten so much sugar. Um, so that was a fun question out there, don't you think, Matt? Very fun question. So the question that we're going to continue, so you are obviously better in tournaments than you are than when you play with us, is what you're saying. 
So does that make you think that maybe you could try a different way or not? That, so oh, yeah, yeah. The, and, and I have tried different ways. When? In tournaments. Like when, though? As in, like, <coughs> recently or you, yeah, when so you were younger, you said you were more... No, no, no. So I went... Um, so probably in the last two years, I would say, I've been, I've been a lot more relaxed and chilled out about tournament golf. But it comes in... It comes in spurts, you know? But I do know that where, even when I'm confident and happy, if I'm not playing well, I will go. I'll run back into my little yeah. negative position of just getting around the golf course. Yeah. So would you say that you to be better? Would you think that you should not do that, or that it actually works and it makes you better to do that? I don't know the answer like, to that. So I don't know what the answer is. I've shot very good scores playing negative golf. Yeah. But I've also shot bad scores with a negative goal as I have I would say that probably when I've gone for it if I'm still in a position where I just don't care and I go for it I can shoot very high numbers like high numbers you know high 80s numbers whereas I know that if I play more um, aggressively no less aggressive less I can I can control that more so I can shoot 75 rather than 85. Yeah. So that's why I probably run to it a lot. What do you think, Matt? I just think that there's too many um, scenarios, situations, variables, everything in this question. It's too yeah. loaded to have a correct answer. Mm. Oh, yeah, it has to work for the person. And yeah, and I, I think that you could look at every situation and think, oh, I, I could have done that differently. Like you go back over your round, oh, I could have done that. You say it every time you go out, really. but I don't think there's a right or wrong answer um, to maybe how Dan thinks. Whether you can monitor it again is super hard to work out as well, isn't it? But if, like when we're teaching amateur golfers with like an 80 handicap, it's quite obvious that you know you shouldn't. Back. Yeah, but well that's I think um, the main point of this. I agree with that. Um, compared to someone like Dan, who's got all the skills and a bigger skill set than someone like that, yes. I think that's the difference. Yeah, but well that's why I agree. I think if you're looking at your average handicap of the person down the lens, yeah, I think, and that's why they related to what Dan Bench. says. I agree. They that's a good way of them getting it round when the skill set isn't as high. Yeah being negative, being more yeah. defensive, just making sure you're getting it around, getting rid of the big numbers. Most of my, even students who have five handicaps who hit it quite long distance, often I'm trying to get them to become more boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But for someone I think of Dan's ability, I think it's frustrating. Or I certainly, if I was coaching Dan, I would like to see him try for a period of time. Mm -hmm. Because I know the negativity from what we spoke about does affect you. Yeah, surely. Where yeah, I think does. you play into it sometimes, mm. like you, you let I it... I run to it too early, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah, so. I think you're better than that, and you could not do what the people... Average person in the comments is getting what you're saying, they're buying into it. Yeah, well, I, perhaps that's a great way of doing it. Mm. You know, you're struggling, you're too over. Um, you should protect. But it's defined... We said this in the buggy, didn't we? It's about defining what that competition means to you. So my mindset playing in some of the things you would have played in, or are playing in, I, would th I wouldn't be classing them as tournaments. You know what I mean by that? They're yeah, disrespectful. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're jollies. Small. They're jollies. Yeah. Small events. You know, you're good enough to play West Region Order mm. America events and win and compete. Mm. If you can be bothered to is a different question because you're busy with family and work. That's a different mm. question. So it's, like, it's almost like you're trying to get the best out of the situations that you know you're in. Which makes perfect sense. And I've never, I've never really competed at regional level either. Like I've dabbled in the odd event, and so, but I've just never bothered. Yeah. Never bothered because I've never just. It's a lot. It's a lot of effort, isn't it? Well, it's a lot of effort. Because there's a lot of guys out there who, who are who playing are full time good, and are good. Good golfers, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I've always kind of backed away from it a little bit, really. I definitely see from when we play together it, with the camera on. You are, I personally think you're much better when you are letting go. Mm. When you're trying to prod it. You're definitely a player that can go on streak of birdies. 
Yeah, but, but I think you're less of that if you go defensive at yeah, two yeah. over. That's yeah. my main point. Like you've seen the bird on the channel. Like yeah. Yeah. In the space of really no one. And it's not the same advice for all players. And that's, I think, where people get struggle and get confused. It's not the same advice. I wouldn't be giving many of my students this idea. No. Most of those people down at Lens and they come for lessons. I think that is, I would be going much more into what you were saying. Yeah, get the hybrid. Let's just not hit it off the planet. I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk over there. There's people. It's embarrassing to go over there. Let's just keep this one on our fairway. Yeah. Yeah. You got shocked. It's different than you playing for handicap. Um, I think defining what a tournament means. Like for me, the tournaments that you say you play, and I would be winging it. It's your business and your teaching and the videos. That's what's going to make you your the incomes that you want. Not the because playing isn't making an income. Is it? No, I, I I play because I enjoy I Competing, enjoy the competition. Yeah. yeah. Like I want to I want to turn up and beat the better players. Yeah. Like I, I, I enjoy that. Yeah. It just it drives me. It's like tickling them, isn't it? It's, it's, like not, it's, money, not, it's not really the money. It's just the fact that I just want to. That's, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the money. We'd be having a series. <laughs>Finding what works for you is definitely the answer around what you want to achieve. And I think that's the main thing from this. You handicap golfers who just want to get a little bit better, definitely what Dan is saying does. I could see work for so many people. I think for Dan it works as well in the places he wants to play in. But then I also think Dan's got so much more to offer, which is why I would like to see him try and push that bit harder. And I also know for a fact, and this is key for you guys and girls at home, Dan enjoys himself so much more when he does let go. He doesn't like that grimy, stressy feeling. And I know for loads of people at home, it makes them stop and even give up golf, which is really sad. Letting go, letting those bad days just roll for some people, definitely gives them that enjoyment. Just keep going out and having fun with their mates. Post comments down below. Let me know what's the best way for you to enjoy your golf and get the best scores out. And yes, I'm completely jet lagged. See you tomorrow.